Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to add a database target in OEM 13.5. My OEM is running on RHEL 7.8 as well as my database is also running on RHEL 7.8. This is the OEM server. This is where my OEM is running and this is the DB1 is my host where my database is running. So if I show you PS minus EF grep pmon you should be able to see a database called aura 98 running on db1.db.com however and my host oem server is omdb.com the first thing that we do is we will add the ip address of oem server so the ip address of oem server on the database target so let's take this let's go to the data database server and let's add the IP address of OEM server on the database machine, the, where my database or the target that we want to use. I don't need to be part of OEM. So let me exit. And now I have only the database server logged in, the DB1, that's my database server. And all that I have done till now is I have added the IP address of my OEM server into the database server. That's that. So the next thing is we will log into our oem server so to the oem server can be logged in using the the we kept this one the ip address if you remember from the last session the 109 was my ip address of my oem server then give the port of the oem and then slash em it presents us with this particular screen accept this advance accept the risk then give the oem user id and oem password not the database password the oem password for the sysman and we are presented with this particular screen the first thing that we need to do is we need to click on setup add target and add target manually i'll repeat setup add target add targets manually and then it will launch us with this particular at host target so we have to if the agent is already installed we don't have to repeat this but if the agent is not installed we if this is the first time you are introducing the server to the oem then we have to install the agent on the host so let's click on install agent on host let's choose this it's 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 taking a bit of time give the session name whatever session name that you want to give so add give add db1 that's what we are adding and then we will say add and here we can give the IP address or we can give the host name. In my case, the, the host name is fine because this particular host name has an entry. If I go to the OEM server, if I go to the OEM server, I closed it. But if I go to OEM server and if I do cat etc host on the OEM server, you can see that this particular entry for this server is already there. So I can just give the name of the server choose the platform in my case is linux x8664 so that's done click on next give the location of where you want to install your agent oem agent this is the location not from the oem server from the database server so if i go here cd slash dbi slash oracle under this we will create a agent directory so let's do make directory oem agent let's do that Let's go to that particular directory. It's empty. It's completely empty. So if I show you, it's completely empty. Take, take the address, the complete address of that location. Put it here. This is where we are going to install the OEM agent. Automatically, the, this particular directory gets populated. We have not. Then we have to specify the name credentials and root, root credentials. So click on plus. Give the, if you want to give the name, let's say db1 slash oracle so we if you want so these are the next time we can reuse them so give the name of oracle user password of oracle user password run privileges none that is fine click on ok that's the name credentials for the oracle then we will give the will again say db1 underscore root and give the credentials of root so root the password of root password here run privilege is none click on ok and <clears throat> rest all the port and everything can remain same optional details not required click on next and then it gives us this particular summary so we uh, session name is add fresh install from this server 
to this server we are going to deploy our agent so click on deploy agent it's going to do the prerequisite check so let's give it a minute so first it checks initialization then it checks all the prerequisites and finally it does the agent deployment this particular step is going to take some time so what i'll do is i will pause the video and come back once these steps are completed so i got an error installation based directory dbi oracle oem agent exists but is not writable and this is my mistake i created the directory using the if you see the permission of that particular directory sorry let me go back this particular directory was created by root so i made a mistake the oracle should have created so we got an error so let's fix that ch own oracle slash dba oem agent so that's done so now the directory is owned by oracle dba let's go and we will now choose retry using same input so we'll say retry using same input so let's do that and now it has again started initialization is progress it's going to do all of this so the first check it failed to on that particular check so let's give it a minute so i'll pause again if there is any more error i'll show you what is the error and i will fix that error in front of you guys so the remote validation is completed it says the remote validation is completed that's green and it says now it's transferring the software to the destination host let's see whether it is doing that so let's go to the oem agent and let's see ls minus l and you can see that we got the current system time is 21 uh, june 21 1534 and you can see a directory appeared so it's transferring the software right now on this particular machine so that's going to take some time once the software is transferred is going to do the prerequisite checks and finally agent deployment so let me pause the video and come back once it's done that you can see the all three initialization prerequisite checks and agent deployment all three turn green and it says agent deployment succeeded so now the first part is done so we have successfully deployed our agent we have not seen any errors that is good news so the next part is what we have to do is we have to again click on setup we have to say add targets add targets manually and now we have to say add non-host target using guided processes so we will be using this particular option so we'll say add using guided process we will choose because we want to discover oracle database listener so we will choose this particular option click on add and it now we we have to click on this it will give us the list of servers we have already discovered so you can see the db1 is up and running we'll select the db1 that's where our database is running so if i do ps minus ef grep so this is oem this is yeah this is the db server so if i show you now actually under this you should be able to see this directories agent installation agent 13.5 etc etc and this is the host db1 under which my database or our team is running which we want to monitor using oem so let's do that so let's select this say select and click on next the discovery is in progress what it is going to do is is going to discover all the components such as the databases listeners etc etc running on this particular host so that's it has done that so if you see it has discovered a database called aura 19 it has discovered a listener called listener whichever you want to if you want to monitor the listener you can monitor the listener if you want to monitor the database you can monitor the database and if i say click and if i now click here and what we need to do is if you see by default it chooses the dbsnmp however if i go to the database so let me clear and let me log into the database so aura env aura 19 sql plus as sysdba okay so okay root why okay let's clear sudo su minus oracle aura env aura 19 that's good sql plus as sysdba select 
account status from dba users where username like db so if you okay so there are i guess there are two let's say db s n and you can see the account is locked by default so let me unlock this particular account so alter user db sn mp account unlock and i do not know what is the default password so let me change the default password alter user db sn mp identified by password so give some password i'm giving password as password now let's go there and give the monitoring password as password role normal is fine do the test connection let's see if the connection is going fine the connection was successful click on ok click on next and then we are ready to save let's give it a minute for it to save so it's going to take some time for that's done however now what we can do is we can say targets all targets and let's see if our database is here and we can see our database is there however it still shows it's pending so what it is doing is behind the scene is actually collecting whether it is up and running once it's completely up and running it's going to turn green so give it a minute i've clicked on that it says up however it's going to take some time and this is how you add the database so give it a minute this will turn green i'll pause the video and come back once this turns green and as you can see the database has turned green it's up and running so it has fully discovered all the resources if you want to look at the table spaces the storage etc so click on the table spaces and you can see system sysox undo how much it is used 99 so all of that particular information you can see you can also create users if you want to see the users etc what are locked you can do that edit view delete so you can you can manage your databases from your oem server such as creating new table spaces adding the data files creating users etc etc so in this particular tutorial we learn how to add the database in oem server and our oem server was running on rail 7.8 and our database was also running on rail 7.8 i hope you found this particular tutorial useful thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye